So you are tired of creating the same keyframes over and over again? Well, Filmora has decided to take that burden away from you. Just some hours before now, Filmora just popped in for a new version. There are only a few features on the upgrade, but they are very useful, and I have seen them worthy of sharing. So if you are new, just check out this channel for more Filmora tutorials. Number 1. So our very first upgrade here friends, is the search history. So when you get in your Filmora, and you search something in any of these folders, when you do the search for the second time, there is a history of what you searched before. So this is going to help you if you want the same thing, you won't have to type again but just click. As you can see, my history has some weird stuff, and you will understand why. Number 2. Moving on to the second, this is the optimized guidance when you search and find no result. So now you know why I have these weird searches. I have to explore the update before I bring it to you. So I wanted to see what guidance I get when I find no result after a search, but unfortunately, on all these searches, Filmora just had something to present on every search that I did. However, when I searched in my favorites, there was an option to take that same keyword and search it in the online library. So you can explore more of this on your own. Number 3. Now here is the main one, which makes this update a monster. Copying and pasting keyframes. So the first thing is that when you hold Alter on your keyboard, and move your selecting mouse on any point of the video, it will change into a keyframe adding tools, with a plus symbol. So I will add a keyframe here, and after some frames, I want to zoom in on the clip like this. So when you want the same values of this keyframe on another clip, simply right-click that keyframe and copy the keyframe. And you go where you want it to be. Right-click the exact position, and then paste the keyframe. Let's say you want the whole zoom, and that means you need all the keyframes. So now you don't have to copy like this, if you do, you will select the whole clip when you want only the keyframe. So you select the first keyframe and hold the control key, then select the next keyframe. And on the next video, you do the same, right click and paste the keyframe. Here is the same zoom applied, not only two keyframes, but you can do this with more keyframes as well. How cool is thought? Now let me add and customize a quick text right now just to show you how does it work on text keyframes. So I click my text here and add a keyframe. And when I want to copy it, the option is grayed out. And when I copy a keyframe from a clip, you still cannot paste it to the text. So that means it's not working on text keyframes yet. Number 4. The last one, yet not the least, on the list. So in the previous version, if you wanted files in your global media, you had to import them even though you had exactly the same exact files in your project media. But now, you gotta save your time. In your project media, just right-click any file and select copy to global media. You can still do this on multiple files. That's it guys in this update thank you for watching. Before you leave, just comment which update have you liked the most. For me it's keyframing.